Hey there, boils and ghouls. It's your friend Taryn Tess. I'm back with another video. Um, yeah, I know. I know that everybody's done a Nightmare on Elm Street 4K video already, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, it's probably not going to be much of a much of a review, but, you know, I just talk about it, give some thoughts about it, you know, and, and you know, and, uh, you know, show you the, the edition I got, which, you know, is the overseas edition, which I'm sure you've already seen videos of people doing it, but, well, like I said, I just wanted to show mine off too. Um, got a couple of other things though too. I'll show real quick. Now these I ended up I had these before, but I had to rebuy them again because, unfortunately, uh, the cases long time ago. I've had these for years. The cases got cracked, and then as a result, I had to take the discs and put them into uh, CD wallets, and just over time, you know, just the uh, the discs end up getting you know scratched and everything else. So. So I saw that there was a Prime Day deal on the first one, so I got it. And I figured, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just grab the second one too, so that way I got them both. But I picked up the Video Nasties documentaries. Put them this way. Volume 1, Volume 2. So so that way I got them, you know, got them back again. And, you know, just got to try to take care of the cases. And, you know, and, uh, but yeah, just a couple of my... A couple of my DVDs got pretty scratched up, so I was like, yeah, just get some new. <clears throat> I know, I bought DVDs, but hey, if these were on Blu-ray or 4K, I'd buy them. But, you know, I was like, DVDs the only way to get these bad boys, so. But yeah, I just, I'm really happy to get these back. You know, this is a, an amazing documentary set, so really, really glad to have it. So, anyway, so pick that up. And uh, this... Oh boy, man, this was a chore, but after a long, long last, I finally got my Houses of Doom box set from Cauldron Films. Oh man, this one here, I was really, really wondering about, you know, just, I pre-ordered this on Diabolic like way, way, way back when, and just, and you know, you could tell I got you could tell I got my order in pretty quick because I got the keychain that goes with it. Probably gonna uh, I'll probably figure I'm gonna, just gonna hang this on my Halloween tree, so be a cute little ornament on there. But yeah, finally got this. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to check any of the movies out yet, but uh, you know, still good sturdy hard box. But just my God, this took so long to get to it. You know. If time turned back, our sins would have also have to start anew. So, but anyway, yeah, this comes with four Italian made-for-TV movies. Um, two by um, uh, Lucio Fulci and two by Umberto Lindsay. We got our two by Fulci. We have The House of Clocks. Uh, bonus features, you... Mm. I'm sorry, I can't read it. The printing is too small. I'll hold it up and maybe you can pause the video see if you can read that. I'm sorry, it's just the printing so small I can't read it. So there's that one. And then we got The Sweet House of Horrors. And hopefully, maybe you can read that. We have The House of Witchcraft. These are Umberto Lenzi's movies. The House of Witchcraft. And last but not least, we have The House of Lost Souls. These are really, really nice. Each one, I think, comes with a little poster. And you got some inside artwork too. There's your, there's the disc. There's the inside art. Now, take that out because the glare is so bad you can't see it. Well, there's that one. A second. I'm going to get to it, I promise. House of Witchcraft, got the poster. There's the disc. 
Then the inside artwork, you got the black cat. Okay. Sweet House of Horrors. These two, the uh, Fulching ones, come with CD soundtracks. How cool is that? Of course, you got your little poster and the inside artwork. Yeah. Of course, you got a track listing for the CD soundtrack. Okay. And last but not least, the House of Clocks. Well, now the poster just went down. Anyway, also CD soundtrack. And there you go. So anyway, but just, oh my god, this was such a chore to get. And uh, it took so long. I, pre I think I made the pre-order like way back in, in June, I want to say. And it was supposed, you know, this set was supposed to come out in July. Didn't happen. Put, got pushed back to August. Didn't come out in August. Supposed to get pushed it back, got pushed back to September. Didn't come out in September. Finally came out in October. So this was a long, long time waiting to get this. And um, like I said, you know, just, I am, uh, I pray that there doesn't come out like, there's some, some kind of fault with the discs or anything like that. I mean, I understand that they had to keep pushing it back because they wanted to make sure that, you know, the discs were perfect and, you know, that the quality was excellent and stuff like that. So, so yeah, so, you know, I am looking forward to checking these out later on. But, uh, whew, man, this, this took forever to get, you know. At one point, I was actually starting to wonder if I was going to get a message from Diabolic saying, like, yeah, the whole thing's pretty much kaput and... You know, we'll refund your money in, in, you know, credit or something like that. So, I was waiting for that. But, finally, the glorious day had come and we got it. So, now I can watch them later. So, anyway, so, the real reason you're here. <clears throat> um, I finally got this in, you know, earlier and I checked it out. And, you know, um, no sense drawing out the suspense. You guys already know what I got. It's the Nightmare on Elm Street 4K. This is the... The imported, or, you know, the, I want to say British edition, I guess. And here you go. I know you've already seen people show these off, and uh, I probably won't get into too much detail about it. But, uh, you know, still, beautiful hard box, and hang on. Got the uh, steel book, you know, beautiful steel book with a matte finish. The original poster art, which... You open it up, you got Freddy there, you got the 4K and the Blu-ray. One thing I was kind of curious about was because, you know, the... I thought maybe there was a possibility they might put the the unrated version of the movie on the Blu-ray. So that was one of the first things I checked. And, uh, of course, you know, if you get this version, if, uh, if anybody's uh, wondering, like, um, I'm just kind of curious, you know, is that Blu-ray region locked? No, the Blu-ray's not. It, the Blu-ray's region free, so you got that. Uh, but I was thinking, like, you know, I wonder if, you know, maybe, you know, there might be a little difference. Maybe they might have included the unrated version on the 4K. And, uh, no, it's not like that. You know, it's uh, uh, it's just the standard Blu-ray, what you're used to. So, and, uh, but anyway, so, you know, you got the back there. The Freddy coming out of the wall. And, let's see, of course, you got your folder here. Where you got your booklet and cards and everything else. Got the uh, one thing that's really nice, though. I like that it comes with... Hang on. Hang on, hang on. All right. One thing I really like is you got the, the smaller poster. Because when I get the... That's going to come in handy. I get this bad boy framed. Then when I get the shelves put up and everything else, you know, the taller shelves and everything, I can put this, put this in the frame. I can hang it up there still be able to see it. So there's that. So I am happy about that. In case anybody's uh, curious, I got my certificate of, certificate of authenticity. I got number 10,335 out of 27,400. So, there we go. Nothing on the back. Of course, you got your cards, you know. You got Freddy, Nancy. Oh, my God. I, you know, I remember as a kid growing up, I remember, I was like, God, I had, I know we all did. I'm, I know I'm not special. I know we all did, but, oh my God, I had the hugest crush in the world on Heather Langenkamp. 
like I said, I think we all did, didn't we? Young Johnny Depp, or I've heard people call him Baby Johnny Depp. Uh, hang on a second. Oh, those are... These cards are thick. They're sturdy. You got Tina, Linda Weiss, or Wiss, John Saxon, the man, Lieutenant Thompson, and Marge. Okay, you know what? I'm a little bit irritated by this because uh, where's Rod? Why don't I get a picture of Rod? Okay, did I miss something? Okay, we got Freddy, Nancy, Glenn, Tina, Lieutenant Thompson, and Marge. Okay, I do have a problem with this set. All right. Okay, I got everybody but Rod. I don't have a Rod card. Come on. That probably sounded dirty, but still, you know, come on. We got all the, you got the main principal characters and I don't get Rod. Okay, Warner Brothers, you need to fix that. <laughs> As if they care. But anyway, still, yeah, a little disappointing. You know, like, should have gotten, you know, pictures of all the characters. And then you got your little booklet here, which, like I said, I'm sure everybody's already showed off and stuff. And uh, Tina. There you go. Yeah. Nancy in the bathtub. Freddy. I think that was supposed to have something. No, I don't think so. Uh, that was one thing I was actually... Uh, we all remember that part, don't we? Nancy getting the tongue. Um, I do remember... That was one thing I was disappointed in um, as far as like the unrated cut goes because I was kind of hoping. I remember, you know, I'm sure you guys all remember. You probably remember back in the day when they did the two tape. Anchor Bay did that two tape VHS of Nightmare on Elm Street, and they were showing like, you know, some of the, um, you know, some of the uh, extra footage. You know, like they were showing the extra footage of, you know, like Tina's death scene, which you know you get a little bit of that on the unrated cut, where you know she falls on the bed and it's just like, you know, river of, you know, just ocean of blood all over the place and stuff you know and um uh, i remember seeing that and then i remember uh there was more there's quite a bit more to uh, johnny depp's glenn's death scene and i thought maybe we were gonna get some of that you know here on the uh i thought maybe we we're gonna get some of that here in the unrated cut but sadly that's not there because you know if you remember um you know, if you remember, like, the part where, you know, like, you see, like, you know, Glenn, like, slowly rising up out of the hole in the bed, and he's, like, all cut up and everything else, and then he just slumps over and falls on the side, and I know I've seen that, you know, I know it's been there, and I'm sure you guys who've, you know, watched, you know, that footage from way back in the day, and it's probably, hell, you probably look on YouTube, you probably still find it, but, um, I was kind of hoping that some of that would have been restored, and we could see that, but, uh, no, alas, you know, I mean, I know there's like a few seconds more showing more of the blood coming out of the bed and hitting the ceiling and stuff like that. I know there's a little bit more of that. And you do get more of, you know, Tina, you know, falling and hitting the bed and the blood goes everywhere. And then, you know, like there's more like the camera holds uh, when Glenn and Nancy, when they come into the bedroom and they see Tina laying there dead on the floor, like the, the camera holds on, a little, you know, a few seconds longer. I remember that. Um, but uh overall just uh oh you forgot that you got that there yeah okay you got that there uh but i remember that and just um you know so yeah i was kind of a little disappointed that uh that didn't happen but uh um just you know overall just i'm really happy to be honest with you i don't feel like a penny of this was wasted um i know that you know, yeah, there's, I mean, about the only thing, there's the J card. I'm not going to really read off the bonus features. I'm sure you've already heard everybody. And besides, it's just, you know, pretty much, it's just the same bonus features imported from, you know, past editions. So nothing really new. But um, um, I'm just so happy, man. I really am happy. I'm, you know, this was worth every penny I spent on it. I know a lot of people aren't crazy about the artwork, in it, but you know, I'm fine with it. It looks nice. And then too, you know, you still got the steel book with, with the original poster art. Um, the movie looked, in my opinion, the movie looked amazing. It looked great. It's easily probably the best I've ever seen this movie look. Um, 
I, d I don't regret spending a single penny on this. You know, the one thing I will say that did surprise me though that I was not expecting, and it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It just surprised me. I just wasn't, you know, is you know with the Dolby Atmos track on the unrated cut or the uncut version, um, I noticed that like some of the, um, you know, I've watched this movie multiple multiple times. I've watched this movie plenty growing up. You know, I've watched it on VHS plenty of times, DVD, uh, Blu-ray, and everything else. And so I know this movie pretty well. And I know what it sounds like. And the one thing that really surprised me is how, when you're watching the uncut version, that uh, some of the music cues are not the same. They're not like what they were. You know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, like one spot specifically that I remember is the... Uh, the scene where Nancy is having the dream. She's in the school. She's having the dream and she's going down into the basement with Tina and everything. Looking for Tina and then Freddy shows up and he's chasing her through the basement and stuff. I always remember, you know, how loud and, you know, in your ears the music score was. And it's like the music score, like there are parts where the music score is actually taken out. Or it's, or maybe not so much taken out, but it's like really, they really lower, you know, the volume on the music score. And that surprised me because I was expecting, you know, I'm used to it sounding a certain way. You know, I think you guys, you know, you guys are smart. I think you get what I'm saying. But I'm used to the music sounding a certain way. And there's like, wow, wait a minute. It's like, I remember the music being kind of really loud and not loud, but I mean, really prominent. You know, you could really hear it and stuff like that. And it surprised me, you know. Um, yeah, mostly that's it. I don't think that there was too much as far as like the... Uh, um, as far as like the dialogue or anything like that. Um, but yeah, just, you know, some, sometimes the, uh, that was the one thing I really noticed was just kind of like, you know, they kind of, you know, they kind of did a little something as far as like the music track went, but I mean, it's not necessarily a horrible thing. Um, but you know, like, you know, you're like, uh, like I said, you know, like the dream sequence where, you know, Freddie's chasing her through the basement. He comes up, you know, he's putting the fingers on, does a shh. You know, I was like, yeah, you can still hear it, but it's still, you know, the music was more what you heard. And I just remember, you know, watching this, it's like, wow, man, you know, like you can, like, that's really mostly all you hear is just him coming up. And like, remember, that's another part too, is the, uh, the scene where Nancy's taking the bath, you know, and the music is really prominent when, you know, Freddie's glove comes out of the water is like coming up at her, you know, the music is really prominent. And it's like, wow, they really, the music in the uncut version, um, is really subdued. They really toned down the music score. I mean, it's really, it's almost quiet. And all you could just, you know, you barely hear the noise, you know. You know, you barely hear it. But uh, like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing. But uh, it's just, you know, yeah, it's, it's a little bit different than what you think it's going to be. But, uh, of course, we got the iconic Freddy coming through the wall there. Um, but overall, I'm just... The picture quality is, like I said, it's astonishing. You know, it looks really great. Um, I would say it's like there's a couple of instances where some of the effects look a little too obvious, especially, I mean, it always has been for the longest time. Um, but, you know, the scene where Nancy's run up the stairs or her feet are going into, you could definitely see like the little, little spots where her feet are supposed to hit. I mean, it's very, very noticeable here on the 4K. Um, but, uh, yeah, and especially the uh, to the part where, um, you know, uh, Nancy sets Freddie on fire. He's going up the stairs. I think somebody already mentioned that, that you could tell that it's, you know, a bulked up stunt man who's wearing protective gear and stuff like that. You could tell, but doesn't matter. It's still a cool effect. I mean, obviously, I mean, what the hell would you expect? You know, them to, you know, really just set somebody on fire. So, I mean, yeah. But, you know, I don't feel like a penny of this. A penny of my money was wasted on this. I know that because of the success of how well the 4K sold on this, that the rumors are out now that, you know, apparently New Line, Warner Brothers, they're going to go full steam ahead and getting the rest of the Elm Street movies out. So this may not be the last time I buy this movie. I'm not sure what they're going to do. I don't know if they want to go for, you know, um, individual releases or if they want to go for, you know, a box set. Personally, I would like to see them do like all the movies in this kind of vein and, you know, that way have like all of them, like a nice set with all the movies. 
I can do without the remake, but you know, you know what I mean. As far as like, you know, from one up to New Nightmare, I wouldn't mind having like nice, beautiful box sets of all these. But um, <clears throat> you know, and I'm not, I'm not even the least bit sorry that I spent the money on it. It looks great. Um, like, oh man, the daytime scenes will really blow you away. You know, the red, the color red on Glenn's car will, will, um, will almost knock your eyeballs out. But, um, oh yeah, oh man, I am so happy. As somebody who, um, I love this movie, I adore it, I've watched it more times than I could care to count, and I'm going to watch it even more, um, and just, you know, and like I said, I'm not even going to be upset if it turns out we get a box set and, you know, it's going to have all the movies, so I may have to buy the 4K again, I don't know, but, I mean, only time will tell, but, um, in the meantime, like, you know, I am so happy I bought this, and, uh, I mean, I can understand, you know, it's like, would I recommend it? Yes, I'm not going to say, you need to go buy this, but would I recommend it? Definitely, definitely, this is easily the best this movie's ever looked, um, now, if you're somebody who's like, well, you know, we got the rumor now that they're going to start working on the others, I kind of would prefer to wait and see if we get a box set. I understand that, you know, if that's what you want to do, that's fine, you know, you do you, man, but, but just, you know, as somebody who, you know, who's a 4K lover and stuff like this, um, this is a good day, it's a good day to have this, and one of my favorite horror movies of all time, and I'm very, very content, so. So happy. And happy to finally get this, too. And I can't wait to check these movies out. So so anyway, so that's it. I think I've gone on more than long enough. So if anybody took the time to watch this, like I said, I know, you know, pretty much everybody and their mothers already made videos about this. Um, but if anybody took the time to watch all this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, could you please leave it a like? And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And, um, yeah, you know, so that's it. More 4K reviews and stuff coming, so uh, look out for that. Take care, everybody. Have a good night. See you all later.